Good morning and good evening. The charity power always support President Duterte. Do the right thing and always be safe. Do the right things right at the back because I done that to our president. So when I was home, that's what I did. Um, I had the shirt most of the time. When I go home to the Philippines, most of the time I use my shirt always because I'm very proud to wear it. I'm very proud to present this and proud of our president the 30 so why shouldn't I so every time I go home I'm most of all the time I use my shirt which I'm very proud and uh, I always since our president the 30 being about uh, I always follow him and that's the best thing he happened on to Philippines if it wasn't for him we would not be where we are today so uh, our country will still be shit and our country will still be a lot of corruption and drugs and continuously and then it goes into worse and worse and worse every year if it wasn't for him so he's already in power for two years in two years he achieved a lot you know and continuously and ongoing he's still doing it a lot also so i was just watching the Bahol the reopening of the whole, the integration of the whole uh, international airport. It seems to be a beautiful airport. It seems to be also an airport I would love to go into. Um, I have been in Bahol a few years ago, and um, the way I went through Bahol too, it was through the boats, uh, which is really cool. I enjoyed it so much, um, you know, to travel from Cebu into Bahol. So now it has an airport, which it makes it easier for us to travel into and easier for everyone because it's a touristic place. So, isn't it good news? We're gonna have so many people coming into Baho and uh, it's gonna create much more work for the people of Baho and easier to travel anywhere and pop into Manila at any time. So this is really, really good. Our president created so much uh, work already now for the people of Bahol, and he's continued doing so for all over, uh, you know, Philippines. So I was also really proud the bridge he reopened a, a few days ago. Uh, forgot what was the name that bridge he was opening to, and um, you see we're doing construction is like build, build, build. The only thing is what I don't like about the build, build, build is also we in neglecting some other parts of you know lore and order and things like that that's what's most of it i also yes we get into you know controlling drugs and you know um corruption and all that kind of stuff and then building and that's great the only thing a uh, um, little concern still and i don't feel still safe on it is our um police and the law the way we have our law to be arrested and only if you catch someone stealing it you can arrest them straight away if you're not in some parts of the country you cannot arrest those people even if you know they are the ones who stole anything and you just can point it but they cannot arrest them until they get the court of arrest so they have to go into court to get the arrest for that person and then they can arrest them. By the time they get that, you know, the word of arrest from the court, those people, they're already flying out the country, gone somewhere, hidden anywhere, and then you cannot be found. So that's, that's the only thing concerned. But this is most of what I'm very proud about Baho. Uh, we have an airport now in Baho, which we're gonna be very busy through international. So. It means if it's an international airport, so any planes can come from here straight into, you know, from UK, from all over the world, and then going in straight into Baho. So that's what I get uh, through that as an international airport. For Manila now, it's easy to go there, which is great. And I might pop into Baho just to have a look. And it's a long time I don't go there, so great. Um, the boats probably is going to be a bit, you know, less not really less because he's still gonna be used the boats to travel and then bringing cargo into the hole and so on so so it's really really cool um, happy for that but also at the same time our president is mentioning you know 
my, again like corruptions and all that stuff and the number he put it like 888 for us to call and if we have any complaints about anything for us to call in and report it well I just wanted to say I mean I had a previous videos about that and things what happens to me back home in the Philippines I also call the 888 I report quite a lot of things and nothing has been done so I don't know most of it the 888 what is I know what it is for I know what it should be standing for also what I find it difficult is the people who's picking up the call don't understand really really good that English I had to talk one of the leaders which was a supervisor there she knew how to talk more and she understands more English but the operators which is like comes to understand you know they understand some of it but they don't understand the whole thing so when I had that problem I had to talk with a supervisor and to explain everything through her so the 888 uh, Mr. President we have and a lot of things is still has to be you know updated and the people who's passing the information is not falling up as we have our complaints is not coming to visitors or come to see us or send in the per the people like police or something supposed to come someone to see us or come and deal with us or things like that I had a problem with the police back home um, which they haven't done nothing about it taking reports is one of those it doesn't happen they don't take any reports they don't do anything barangays is one of the biggest corruption we have the barangays we have they don't do anything they just earning money didn't do nothing they just doing their own work plus they getting paid for government so what we have in barangay for we have captain from barangay which having a captain not having a captain they not doing anything they having money which is that budget they supposed to be investing in places they not they care about themselves and the budget for their pocket not to put it into the community so you know and plus most of the barangay captains and the barangays we have working the other the ones who dealing with drugs and they know the drug dealers and I have you know drug dealers behind my house and what I complain about and this 888 and I complain and I um, the NBI I call and then someone's supposed to come to the house for us to have a chat and for me to you know show them who they are and who's the drug dealers the drug lords which I have there right in the front and at the back of my house but until now I haven't been contacted from anyone you know to come and do something about it even to my barangays which they involve into you know Shibu and all that and 2.5 million has been around my place right at the back and much more and nobody ever done anything this is supposed to be about Berhol's airport yes the integration and all that kind of stuff but I also coming into this because of our president is mentioning you know corruption and then he's firing some people and then we, he uh, put those 888 for the people to call and you know something to be done and something to be follow up the case but I know they have so many cases but I also know our president opened that for you know to for us to have a more secure and report people's doing which is not supposed to be doing and continues to that and then for us to stop the corruption and we all us as people we're trying to also to help the community and I'm one of them I would like my place to be clear to be free of drugs to be free of criminals and to be a beautiful and nice place to be living in not as you're going on the street they're carrying guns they're moving around with motorbikes which they don't have no license plates they don't have no even insurances and they're carrying a M45 beside it 
people doesn't have license license for gun shouldn't be you know wearing any gun or taking any gun on the street anybody found with that should be prosecuted and then should be taking that out from them and then that's it if they continue doing that and then it should be another process of doing dealing with it because guns we can find guns anywhere and then it's easy to get a gun in the Philippines but you know I want to have one but I want to do the right thing is I want to have the license to carry I want to have the license to own which that's what I'm gonna do that way that way that's legal because you resisted you know everything and you are okay now the people's carrying guns and don't have um, licenses and don't have anything like that they shouldn't have it if you have inside your house to be protected inside your house if anybody for, comes into your home or anything like that that's fine that it's not a problem because nobody should transpass into the house and nobody should be there except the people you sh you should know who's supposed to be there but anyway um like uh, coming out of the boat going into Bahos airport this is a big step for for us big step for Bahol also and the people and very proud um, of that and continuously our president hopefully he will continue to do much more again I just want to remind our president you just mentioned the 888 but I would like it to be investigated for the people who's taking the information and for that to be follow up because I complain also about police and not doing anything in our place and in Cavite side and nothing has been done because all I can see police is not doing anything we need more police in the streets day and night four years to five years to become a police is too long we have so many people talented people who has education and has all that taking you know for to be in a police you don't have to be like an army you can do training you can do you are able to do taking reports writing reports and then you know putting someone in prison that's that's great the only thing is again we don't have the facilities we don't have no communication police with police and procedures to other cities we don't have that we need to have CB radios through the police everywhere to be communicated and then for us to get that and law and order can be applied but we cannot apply law and order if we just do building building and then doing airports and then doing bridge that's great but all the main thing at the moment in time is to concentrate you know and the corruption that's great but we need the people to support that corruption we need the police we need more police on the streets day and night we need more lighting in some places how can the police go through those places quarters and other places and some roads which is so dark and then anybody can shoot from anywhere so I hope police join the night you don't see them around if you see them they are sleeping on the side you know and they're not patrolling the streets they're not but we do need a police to be patrolling the streets we are short of police very short what can we do about it less short the times of being a police for two years two years is really good enough you can do training in two years is really good you know if you already have studies if you already have some knowledge of writing and taking reports and everything why do we need four years of training you know it's not that difficult over here in UK we don't need that four years of training you do some training as you're qualified to prosecute taking information and then put them in if they're doing wrong that's easy it doesn't matter if you're fat it doesn't matter if you're slim it doesn't matter if you and some of them never went to training or running or anything like that yes I understand you you do do we see any police running after criminals not in the Philippines we don't see that they have to so why do we need to do all this training because after the training what the police do is just sit their asses in the police station eating good and they're getting fat did they do any more running do they do any more training no so what they doing getting fat so is this uh, the way we are supposed to go to but anyway what I wanted with all the respect is I want law and order more 
and our police to have the equipment they needed not just the building not just the airports not just all that for us to control criminals for us to control drugs and for us to control a lot of stuff we need more police the barangay is the biggest corruption or corrupted also we have in the communities because barangay we wasting money we just wasting a lot of money in barangay barangay captains and barangay staff they don't do nothing so we need to change that we're giving money to barangays and which they had put in captains they put in their own pockets and use it for themselves and they're not doing anything so can we please mr president do something also look into more police in the streets patrolling the streets day and night we need it as soon as possible and that's what i my request is and again through Bahol um, international airport it comes to all these kind of questions all these things for us to not just doing that happy for that but i always keep asking and we have to put ourselves together for us to stop more corruption in the streets robbery and killing and shibu we need more police asap can we have that thank you god bless and take care and i'll see you soon the 30 power always support president the 30 do the right thing always respect our president and follow what he does i love him a lot i hope soon i will meet him and um yeah he just as he loves our country in the philippines so do i i also love our country the only thing is a lot of people we have our own people in the country also they have to learn how to change and they need to change so not to be afraid because this time of being afraid is all finished so now for now take care good night bye bye ciao